Hey y'all, Gregor here with a brand new video. I wanted to cover some topics that will help you improve as a player. A lot of the times I get people asking, how do I hit infinite? How do I know my deck is good? Things like that. But I wanted to do just like a general video where I'm giving you tips and tools that I guarantee no matter where you are, this will help you get better as a snap player. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, please remember to like, subscribe, comment, do all the things. And if you're able to watch till the end, I super appreciate it. Let's get into the video. My first First bit of advice is when you are playing Marvel Snap, you should be talking out your plays and the logic behind them. When you play a card, why are you playing the card where you are, you are playing that card? Is there an advantage you are getting by playing the card where you're getting? Is there anything that would hurt you by playing the card where you're playing? So just thinking critically and in your brain or even verbally talking out your plays will help you become a better player. This is some of one of the things I recommended when I'm doing coaching or coaching a player is I want them. I won't actually do a lot of talking or recommending they play card in a specific place. What I have them do is I have them play. And and I have them verbally tell me why they're making the plays. And if there's a better play, I'll be like, I wouldn't do it there. Instead, I would play it here. And this is the reason why I would play it. So we are both logically explaining our thought process and what will give us the best value. After a loss, I don't want you to just hit end game or close out and start a new game. I want you to keep it open and I want you to look at the board state. When I say the board state, I want you to look at the board and I want you to see where everything is. I want you to ask yourself, was there anything that I could have done different to win that game? Could I have played a card in a different place? Could I have played a different card that would have won me that game? What lost you the game? Was was it a bad matchup? Was it bad location? Was it RNG? Was it a bad read on your part? Maybe it was you knew what the your opponent was going to play. There was a 50-50 shot that they were going to play in one location or the other location, and you just met, misread the location. Was there a card or location that was a moment of ultimately cause loss? Would it have been better in hindsight to have retreated earlier? All things to consider. I want you to take that information every time after you lose a game and try and give yourself a critique, like a small critique. Like, was there anything I could have done differently? RNG happens in this game. There are times where you just, the game decides you just lose. But there are also a lot of other times where you could have played a little bit differently and probably could have won the game in a different way. By doing this, you are giving yourself constructive feedback. You're gonna improve by continuing to do this, giving yourself constructive feedback. You will improve as a player. I absolutely guarantee it. Now, let's say your deck is being countered by specific cards. Is there any way for you to put in cards that would stop that specific counter? For example, is it worth adding a card into your deck? Would putting a card in your deck give you an advantage? So let's say your deck is very vulnerable to affliction. Would adding in loot cage solve that problem for you if that's a reoccurring issue? If you're playing destroy and you're getting put up against a lot of decks that run something like a Cosmo and armor both shut down your decks, could it be optimal to put instead of Shang-Chi, maybe Enchantress into your list? What tech option could you add in there? Let's say you're getting countered by decks that run cost reduction. Let's say you're seeing a lot of Mockingbird. You're seeing a lot of Loki. It's probably worth maybe considering putting Mobius into your deck. So little things like that will help you improve and get around whatever meta that you're stuck in, whatever pool. So if you're seeing a lot of one specific thing, consider adding a card that stops that. The next bit of advice is when you snap, why are you snapping? Identify why you believe that you have win conditions. Is it a location, a card you have in hand that will give you a great combo that your opponent can't compete with? I want you to find within your thought process Hey, I think I have enough of an upper hand that I can confidently snap here because there's only a few things my opponent could potentially play that could counter me, if that makes sense. Now, if you don't snap and your opponent snaps, my question then is, why did you stay or why did you retreat? More, more often than not, it is better to retreat than to stay. When in doubt, you should be retreating because it's better to lose a single cube than two cubes or better to lose two cubes than four cubes. So uh, you should constantly be analyzing whether you're at an advantage or a disadvantage based off of locations, cards in hand, and the matchup. But I want you to start thinking, why am I snapping? Is it in hindsight worth snapping if you lose? And the same with retreating. You take that into consideration, both wins and losses. I also, this next bit of advice is really good as well. I want you to pretend that you, when you are playing your opponent, that you are actually in the opponent's position. You get a good idea of what they're playing. You have a good idea of what deck they're using based off of the cards they're playing because of how the cards synergize together. I want you to ask yourself, what would you do if you were in their shoes? If you were, everything was flipped on you and
and let's say you are playing let's say your opponent is playing destroy and you are playing zoo for example you have to assume they probably have killmonger ask yourself what play you would make if you were playing destroy they will most likely make a similar play this is how you can read when i say read you are predicting what your opponent is going to play and where they're going to play it what they are about to do and potentially counter it ask yourself is there any card that your opponent could play that would take away your win condition is there a good likelihood your opponent is playing a card in their deck that will take away your win condition so specific decks run specific cards and once you start seeing that pattern you can start to predict potentially what they have and you're going to be able to retreat better because of it and my last tip is do the math you got to do the math so not just on your side do your opponent's side as well you can use math to get a fairly accurate idea of how much power your opponent can push per lane you also should have an almost exact idea of how much power you can push per lane outside of rng from specific locations or cards you should have a very solid estimate how much power you can push and whether or not you have a good chance of winning or losing i see a lot of people lose just because they don't do the math you got to do the math especially once you get into the higher areas closer to infinite you want to know how much you can push out based off of all of your ongoing or on reveal cards and you should have a generic idea of how much your opponent can play based off of the read based off of the deck that you what you predict is in their deck do all of these tips together and i guarantee you you will improve you will become a better player do this after every match and do this during every game and you will progress and whether your goal is to hit infinite for the first time whether your goal is to get an infinite conquest border all of these things will help you i hope you all enjoyed the video thank you for watching until the end i really love enjoying these little tips and trick videos i try to do them like one every week along with a deck guide is usually my goal for you know my weekly youtube upload content along with shorts thank you all for watching i really do appreciate it if i don't see you for the rest of the week please remember to take care of yourself remember to eat food drink water take your meds and also, remember that the world is better with you in it. I hope to see you all next time. Take care.